I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business. Oops, let me hold on. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business and personal success strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you discover your genius, which is a combination of your expertise and life experience to build a profit generating business based on your purpose. So uh, today I wanted to, oh my gosh, hold on. I think I forgot to put on my other outfit. Hold on. So today I wanted to talk about selling. This whole concept that everybody um, is, is misunderstanding and it's causing you to have difficulty in your uh, in the way that you uh, make money, if you are a purpose driven, uh, heart centered entrepreneur who has a lot of expertise, uh, so, oops, wait, hold on. Sorry, I forgot to take off my other outfit. If you are a heart centered, uh, purpose driven entrepreneur who has uh, some sort of expertise that you do and you want to help people, um, the whole idea of selling sometimes uh, tends to clog your brain. And you feel as though, uh, you may feel as though it's a little sleazy and awkward, and it, it just feels like a little icky. And so today I wanted to um, shed some, uh, a different perspective on things and some truth about how the human mind works, yours and your ideal clients, and what you can do uh, to replace selling. Uh, because selling, uh, because of this whole misunderstanding of, of what it is, and because of the way that online businesses are, um, are taught to run, there's just a whole misunderstanding about business. So it, this isn't even solely about selling. And I want to uh, preface all of that by saying this is my perspective on it, and you can choose to uh, take on this perspective, or you know you can follow whatever else works for you. Because at the bottom line is you should be making money and uh, be doing something that feels great to you. So you know why I started this uh, live stream with a dollar bill in my head and then a price tag is that. Uh, the way that I see uh, people uh, learning about selling, you know, there's sales school and there's all these different things. The way I see people learning about it is that uh, uh, it's, uh, you are either looking for clients, hence the dollar bill on my head, you're either looking for clients who... Um, so you, you're like out there with, with it, looking for people who have a dollar bill in their head, essentially. I mean, that, that's when, if you think selling is sleazy, that's, that may be what's going on in your, in your mind. How else it's being taught is that then you teach. And when you teach, everybody has such confusion about marketing and how to market themselves. Because they feel as though that's how, uh, how people are going to hire you, by showing your genius when you teach, and, uh, and then, you know, how much am I? So, first of all, there's just a misunderstanding of, you know, making money. Because both of those things are, um, you know, are real. You want to get clients. And, um, and you want to share a lot of free information so people can understand what it is that you do. But separating those two, th there really is no uh, separation. You have a business now, so your job is to get clients. You don't have to uh, look for people that you can convince or persuade, because I've also heard those terms uh, linked with selling, and I apologize for the loud truck outside. It's one of those days I need to remember to, uh, on Mondays, to never do my live stream at this time. <laughs> okay, so, sorry, it'll pass soon. So, so when you think about selling and getting clients that way, it causes a 
uh, a weird feeling like, uh, okay, so now I need to get people on the phone and convince them to buy my item. And instead of you wanting to help people and transform them, it's all dumbed down to uh, a dollar bill. And while you want to make money, uh, people are not going to hire you to make money. They're going to hire you uh, because you provide help for them and they see you as the answer. So your goal should still remain the same about, you know, as to why you started your business in the first place. It was to help people. I, I would hope. That's why I, you know, said that if you are purpose-driven and want to help people in the beginning. So... This whole like idea of convincing and persuading people, I, I in fact have heard people uh, talk about their one call close and how you know I, I heard one person who um, who made a lot of money um, say uh, nobody uh, leaves a call uh, or, or I, I get every client that I talk on the phone with. I don't know, but to me, uh, I don't leave every phone call uh, resulting in a client. Because if I did that, um, I don't know that I, I would be actually helping people. Because my first question is always, you know, what can I do for you? So I can understand their problem. That, you know, I'm going to get into that in a second. So the whole idea is that... Uh, so how it's being taught is just, it, it, it just makes you feel kind of sleazy. But how decisions are made, so when you are uh, marketing, speaking to um, whoever it is that could be your potential ideal client, you are um, speaking to their three brains. You know I had to talk about it again. Okay, so we as humans, we, you, me, uh, the guy down the street, we all have three brains. And those three brains work together to decide whether or not it uh, starts with our fear judging brain, which is why you want to uh, show people that you have the answer for them by teaching and sharing free information and you know, just being your, your beautiful self online. But how decisions, like real decisions, are made are in your emotional brain. So that emotional brain um, for you and your ideal client, it has no voice. And, it, you know, it's a heartfelt decision. So um, people aren't making their decision based on how you convince them or persuade them. And if you are trying to convince somebody to do something that goes against their true gut reactions and heartfelt decisions, you may be able to do that. In fact, I know, I'm sure people do. But you may not actually, that may be why you think that selling is sleazy, is because now you're trying to uh, get them out of that emotional brain and turn it over to their stupid thinking brain which is creating all of these justifications of why they need to spend money with you, why they need to buy from you. And so uh, the whole goal of this is that you want to help your potential ideal client make an emotional decision, one that they feel in their heart and their gut, and not one that you would have to convince them by. And so um, when you are sharing yourself, teaching like you want to focus on, doing the things in a strategic way so that your messages are the right, you know, the right messages that they need to hear, so that they are taught in the right way, so that, um, you know, everyone talks about the funnel, so that the feeling that they get gets stronger about hiring you. That's what making money is all about. Having those, you know, I don't know about you, but I've never been sold in my life, nor have I ever sold anything. And, you know, I've made money and I get clients, 
But I've never, ever thought about uh, stating my price as selling because I am positioned correctly. My business is positioned correctly. I have a program that solves an urgent problem for people. And, um, and the marketing that I do, the teaching that I do, helps people understand that I have a solution. So when you go and you uh, are um, doing your work, you need to have that system set up so that it supports what it is that you do, the vision that you want your potential ideal clients to see. You want to bring them into your world, not try to convince them you know, and, and jump into their world. You want to bring them over to your house to say, hey, you know, I have a way of thinking about things. And, uh, you know, you could go and hire a million other people. You could go and hire a million other people. Um, you could go and, and learn from a million other people. And I'm sure that you, you learn from other people. But you're on this broadcast for a reason. And if you're understanding what I'm saying, you actually can hear what I'm saying. So I have just brought you over to my house. I'm not trying to be something that I'm not. Uh, in order to get clients or um, convince you of something, I'm just sharing um, what I know to be true, and you can choose whether it's right for you or not. And people that choose whether it's right for them or not, whether it's me or you or some other person teaching, if they need help, they will take take steps closer to you. That's what you know a funnel is. It's bringing people closer to you sharing the emotion so that they can make an emotional decision about, um, about what it is that you sell. And so, you know, what I really want to say is, does selling work? Yes, and it's not sleazy. I mean, I, for people that have a business, um, you know, however you make money is how you make money. It's not sleazy. You have a business. I mean, unless you're like selling drugs, um, I would say that you are a good person and you're trying to make money. So however you want to sell, if you want to go online and say, I have the latest and greatest, come buy this, you know, I want to get you on the phone and that's fine. You know, for me personally, that doesn't work for me. Uh, my stupid thinking brain uh, and my emotional brain is, feels weird doing that. I've seen people do it and they do it with finesse and it's great, but that's not me. And so, um, you know, I, I devised another system for me and that's called positioning. And I didn't just invent it. It actually exists and it's, and it, it's a business, um, strategy. And if you ever listen to any business, um, podcast books, anything, I guarantee you that word positioning will come up over and over and over again. And you know why? Because it's the basis and the solid foundation of how a business needs to be set up. You need to be positioned correctly in your business. Positioning is where you sit, is where you sit in your ideal client's mind. That means that uh, uh, in accordance to the competitors, that means that um, you don't just go and you, you, know, you have your business and you don't think about it. You actually um, understand what your brand represents. You know, your brand is your promise to your, to your customer. You understand what your brand represents. You understand the image, not just your physical image, but you understand you know, the feeling that you want to give to your audience and to your ideal clients. And you understand what it is that you do. The urgent problem that you solve, that's the root of it. So when you start with that positioning, then you work outward to position your marketing. You know, a business that is posi positioned correctly is set up in a system. It has a system of not only reaching out and getting clients, it has a system for you know, keep in touch with them. And, you know, that's what your email list and all that is for. But everyone has dumbed it down to like just the tactical part that I believe it's confusing 
to a heart-centered, purpose-driven entrepreneur who may not understand the online world very well. And now you're sitting there trying to like, how do you know, what do I do with this email list? And, oh my God, I need a funnel. And, and then you start thinking that that's how you make money. And if you don't have that or understand that, then you're not going to be able to do that. But I just said, and when I taught yesterday, if, if you didn't listen to that live stream, you should. It's actually on my YouTube channel. But uh, uh, how you think that you earn money, whether you think it's ha- uh, you know, hard selling, whether you think it's because of your email list size, whether you think that you, know, you have to get up and speak in front of an audience, however you think, like you believe, that, you, that that's how you're going to make money, you're going to be stuck in a pattern of trying to do that until you are able to figure it out. And if that's not the way that best suits you to make money and you don't have a solid business foundation, a passion around what you do, a purpose, the confidence to teach it, uh, you're going to be stuck. And then you're going to be stuck um, trying to learn selling. And if, you know, it, it goes in like a cycle. So being positioned correctly means that you have all those things. You have the email system set up. You have the funnel set up. Um, you know, you have the outreach set up. And it happens on a systematic basis. No, it, you don't have to automate it. I mean, you probably... But I don't want to complicate the issue. I, I, I just want to tell you these are the basic pieces that you have, that you need to have, in order to then focus on what it is that you do. Because when you focus on what you do and you have the strong passion and the purpose... This is the why. Why do you have a business? Why do you want to help people? What is it in your life that led you to want to do that? You know, when there's a fire inside of you, that gives you the confidence. Then, when you have the system set up and you know exactly the pieces that go together, then you just focus on you. This is a shift in perception. I'm not, you know... I didn't create some thing from, you know, outer space that suddenly, you know, falls into this world. It has the same components that other people are, are teaching and, you know, because those things work. But the way it's being taught and the way you may understand it may not work for you. And so I want to help you understand that without you, without your confidence and without your strong purpose, you can't help people, number one. Number two, you can't make money and make your business run. Because if you're, if, you're, if you're like me and you're trying to struggle and learn how to sell and it's not you, you're going against your own human nature. And the reality is, is that you don't have to. And so, you know, I didn't do live video. I didn't do a webinar for the first like year and a half of my business. <laughs> and I made a lot of money. Should, could I have made more had I done those things? Maybe, but that's not how I believed I would make money. And, um, you know, like I said, selling is, doesn't feel good to me. And so I, you know, I, I did it other ways. And, you know, I worked with amazing people. And so I want to tell you this because this is why I'm having a training on Thursday about getting positioned to sell. Because positioning is not only what happens on the outside, but it's also what happens on the inside. This training is going to include what happens on the inside and the outside. Because like I said, it's a system. You have to be able to get that information out of you. Then you have to know where to put all those different pieces. I'm going to teach you that entire system so that you can understand a different way, a different perspective on how to make money. You really, um, you know, if, if you're resonating with this, I encourage you to watch my video from yesterday about why you're not making money. Because I think that there were, I, I shared some things about, you know, how the thinking and understanding of, of your business and how it should run is just, you know, misunderstood. It's not that these people teaching it are bad people. And it's not like what they're teaching doesn't work. 
It's just that, you know, um, it doesn't work for you. And so, you know, that doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make you a bad business person. It just makes you somebody that needs to uh, learn a new system so you can run a new pattern in your brain. And so I also encourage you to share this with somebody else who's struggling with selling because if there's one thing that I... Um, um, falling victim to their business, they are uh, beating themselves up in their heads, lacking confidence, thinking that something is wrong with them, following other people and thinking that they're greater than them because they're making a lot of money. I can't tell you, excuse me, I can't tell you enough um, how that just has nothing to do with your own success. And long term, all that beating yourself up and thinking you're not good enough and following other people, you're going to wake up one day and go, why did I just do that? <laughs> and, you know, I hope that you wake up today so that you can change it because, you know, life goes by really fast and you shouldn't spend another day doing something that you don't love um, in a way that you don't love and not making the money you deserve. It's the purpose-driven, heart-centered entrepreneurs that should be making money. It's the people with the years of expertise, you know, who've overcome life challenges. You should be making money. And however you do it, however you want to do it, you should be making money. And it's not about following other people. It's not about living on Facebook. It's about knowing the system that will get you there. And so I, I ask that you share this with other people because I think that, you know, I don't, I don't have a very strong voice. I, I try to get myself out there, but, um, you know, I think that there's a lot of truth to this that may help somebody else. And if you missed the first part, um, I encourage you to watch because I thought it was kind of funny. I don't know. I was laughing about it all day. So um, anyway... I hope that that's helped you. Uh, if you want to ask any questions or anything, feel free to ask under the feed. I'm always answering them uh, at the end of the day. And uh, come join me at the Genius Collective. Sign up for the, um, the free class and the seven-day challenge at positioned.totalgenius.net um, to really uncover a system that sells for you. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a great night.